Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022 slot 3 DILR says that in the following year corresponds to 1st of January of that year. So all these dates mean 1st of January. A study to determine the mortality rate for a disease began in 1980. The study chose 1000 males and 1000 females and followed them for 40 years until they died, whichever came first. The 1000 meals chosen in 1980 consisted of 250 in each of these ages, 10 to less than 20, uh, 20 to less than 30, 30 to less than 40 and 40 to less than 50. So there are four ages groups that is 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. The 1000 females chosen in 1980 also consisted of 250 each. So 250 in each of these age categories, both for male as well as female. The four figures below depict the age profile of those among 2000 individuals who were still alive in 1990, 2000, 2010 and 2020. The blue bars in each figure represent the number of males uh, in each age group that at that point in time well, while the pink bars represent the number of females in each age group at that point in time. The numbers next to the bars give the exact numbers being represented by the bars. For example, we know that 230 males among those tracked and who were alive in 1990 were aged between 20 and 30. So for example, 230 males in 1990 were in this age group 20 to 30. So we need to find the number of uh, deaths in most of these questions it is about the number of deaths so total we have 250 people 250 minus these are alive people 2 minus 250 minus alive is equal to the number of deaths in that category and how to read this graph is so let us say a person is 20 to 30 in 1980s so after 30 years let us say 2010 will be in the age range 50 to 60 years so these will be the number of people in that group. Okay, so that's how we will calculate. So let us see the questions to understand it. The first question says in 2000, what was the ratio of the number of dead males to dead females among those being tracked? So in 2000, we need to find dead and uh, dead males to dead females. So these are the number of alive males. And these are the number of alive females. So let us find the number of alive males. That is 385 plus 260. That comes as uh, 645. Right. So there were 1000 males and 645 are alive. That means 355 are dead. So by looking at this data itself, you can divide by 5 and see 71. This should ideally be the answer. If needed, you can calculate this also. It turns out to be uh, 325 plus 330. That is equal to 655. So the number of females that are dead is 345. So you divide, take this ratio, divide by 5. That is 71 ratio, 69. So that is the ratio of dead males and females. How many people who were being tracked and who were between 30 and 40 years of age in 1980 survived until 2010? So we need to find 30 to 40 years in 1980 survived till 2010. So 1980 to 2010, there is a gap of 30 years. So that means these people are now from 60 to 70 age range. So 60 to 70 age range in the year 2010. So that is 90 plus 100 so the number of people is 190 how many individuals who were being tracked and who were less than 30 years of age in 1980 survived until 2020 less than 30 in 1980 and 2020 means 40 years later so they were less than 30 add 40 to it so they will be less than 70 years in 2020 so 2020, find the number of people who are less than 70 years of age. So we have 240, 240 plus 230, total of 
470 people in this age range. How many of the males who were being tracked and who were between 20 to 20 and 30 years of age in 1980 died in the period 2000 to 2010? So, 20 to 30 years of age in 1980. So, in 2000, they will be 20 years later, that is, they will be between 40 to 50 and 2010, their age should be 50 to 60. So, in 2000, let us find the number of males that are in the age range 40 to 50. So, we see the number as 205. So, there were 205 such males and in 2010, they will be in the age range 50 to 60. So, now there are 165 males left. So, there were 205 and now 165 are left. That means 40 such males died during that period. How many of the females who are being tracked and who were between 20 and 30 years of age in 1980 died between the ages of 50 and 60? Now, this was a debatable question and of course, uh, it was removed as well. So, it says how many of the females who were being tracked and who were between 20 and 30 years of age, right? Now, 20 to 30 years of age in 1980 is this category. Uh, sorry, this, this does not exist here to so 20 to 30 in the 1980 uh, group. So, it is saying between 50 and between the ages of 50 and 60. So, that means we need to tell 30 years later, okay? So, uh, if you... Uh, see this data so 30 years later that is uh, 2010 right so 2010 they will be in the age range 50 to 60 right 2010 they will be in the age range to 50 to 60 now uh, in 2000 they will be in the age range 40 to 50 so in 1980 they were 20 to 30 in 2000 they will be 40 to 50 and 2010, they will be 50 to 60 years of age. Now, it is, we cannot find that how many of them were exact age. Like, we are saying that the age range is 40 to 50. We may have some people who might be, let us say, 48 years of age will fall in this category. Similarly, a person who is 41 of year of age will also fall into this category. Now, we cannot tell them where they, whether they died between the age of 50 and 60. So, let us take an example. Let us say a person X was 45 years of age, right? And uh, like died in, let's say 2000, the person was 45 years age and died in 2003, okay? So, that person must have been just 48, will not have reached the age range in 50 and 60, between 50 and 60, right? So, we cannot count the number in this range because the person may not have lived up to 50 years. So, this was an incorrect question and was scrapped from the examination. So, this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.